morning. It's Tuesday, the 20th of August. It's a nice sunny day. I find myself at the invite, thank you, Greater Anglia, at Norwich Station. We're about to go ride some trains and do a bit of flirting. So we made it to Great Yarmouth, the train's behind me. It was really busy, as you can see, with everybody getting off. So we're gonna go back on a trip to Norwich and we'll do a walkthrough now with it. There's still some people on board, but it was definitely really busy on its way in to Great Yarmouth just now. Let's do a walkthrough. The first thing you do need to realize is that each carriage has only got one door in it. So normally you get like maybe two doors at each end here on the units. It's just the one door. They're not even in the middle. That's intriguing, so there's just one door per unit. Let's go on a walk through. Right, so it's a four carriage train. It's all, excuse me, standard class. There's no first class. There's first class on the 745s though. There are some three car 755s as well. We've gone past the regular toilet there, and that is right next to the accessible toilet, which is there, which we will come back to. Coming through, sorry, it's all right. We're going down this rather intriguing passageway right now. This is because Stagler on the flirts put the engines in this compartment rather than put them under the floor. So there's like this sort of strange narrow compartment which you walk down, you come through, table seats at a high level, table seats at a low level, keep going, keep going, more table seats, two by two seating, and we'll come down into the fourth carriage down here. There's a height thing going on. Look at this. Can you see here? This is the floor, but here. It's then, it's raised. So this table here, and the one I'm sitting on now, is about 20 centimeters higher. Why is that? So we're leaving Great Yarmouth now. It is so quiet. That's because I guess there's no engines under the floor, they're down there. I saw online, my friend Roger called it the, the gubbins area. So, I mean, that's slightly weird to have that sort of compartment with the corridor, but the rest of the train, it's really quiet and it's really smooth. Also, the seats are good, man. I mean, the, these seats are standard class seats, but they're as, as good as, if not slightly better than some first class seats on other trains I've been on. They're really nice. Armrests, and what's interesting about the armrests, and also over here, on the non-table seats, oh, the table seats, by the way, match up the window, but the little flip-down tables, they just, the quality there, I'm doing the Roger Ford fist of quality, I know. But on those, and also on the armrests, it just, can you see that, can you hear it? It just feels good, and it feels very, very solid. It's a very nice build quality. Also, it's time to plug my phone in. Down below, there's a three pin socket and a USB socket. So I, I can... Hello. So instead of going that way, they go... That way. That makes sense? Top pin is at the bottom. The longer pin is at the bottom. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now there is luggage space up above, and back there there was a luggage rack. I haven't seen a luggage rack in every carriage though, but there is loads of space under the seats. Where you can easily, easily put a bag. Right, I've 
come to the very, it's quaint, it's quaint, and sunny, Lingwood, the uh, manual crossing gate is still there. Network round, I thought you were replacing those. I was told that these would all be replaced by some point this year. Uh, let's sit here at Lingwood uh, for half an hour and uh, discuss where these trains are going to be rolled out. Uh, it is it is sunny. Um, it feels like I'm on Blue Peter if I say, here's one I made earlier. Now this is my pre-prepared blank map. Um, it's to point out straight away uh, that there are two types of these FLIRT trains. So FLIRT, remember, stands for Fast Light Intercity and Regional Train. Uh, the one I'm on today, that's a class 755. That's a four-car unit. Uh, there's 24 of those coming to the network. There's also going to be 14 three-car units. They don't have first class, just standard class. There's then also class 745 trains, which are like identical to those, but they're longer. They're 12 cars, and those are going to be like the intercity-style trains, which will run between Liverpool Street and Norwich. Here's the map. We're going to draw it. So, from Norwich up to Sheringham, those are 755s. Uh, here, on what we call the Wherry Lines, through Burnley Arms and Great Yarmouth and Lowestoft. Burnley Arms currently completely closed at the moment due to the network rail engineering work that we spoke about. These will be 755s. The Ipswich down to Lowestoft, or Lowestoft down to Ipswich and also Felixstowe, the 755s. They're going to introduce some Lowestoft to London direct, about four a day services, maybe uh, in next year's timetable. Uh, and those will then be the 745s. So the 745s will run all the way through, but the 755s will be the local. Uh, also, I saw one this morning at 9.30 at Norwich, uh, so doing uh, Norwich uh, to Cambridge, uh, that's all 755s as well, and also Ipswich over to Cambridge is 755s. The 745s are then, as I say, running from London uh, through Ipswich to Norwich. They were hoping to get some on the new amazing Norwich and 90 servers, there's only four of those a day. Uh, but the 745s will be here soon. They're all 745s, uh, they're electric only as opposed to the 755s which are by mode The 745s will also be running on the Stansted Express. The Class 720s will then run on the local Greater Anglia Lines, as I say, out to like Southend and Southminster, and that we think is coming the first one of those should be in service later this year. But basically, if you're up in the Norwich area, that is where you will find these brand new 755s at the moment. And I wait a train coming back from Norwich, uh, back down to Great Yarmouth. It's just to point out, I think it will either be a 156 or a single car 153, just to point out what they're replacing and how noisy they are and how the flirt trains are so much quieter. Uh, they're also displacing the Class 170s, so they will also go. And also, everybody will miss the fact that Greater Anglia for ages now have been running what they call the short sets. A uh, couple of Class 37s, a couple of carriages in between the 37s, which I love, which I love. Um, they are going, uh, and these 755s will just dominate all the lines around here. So I think we said on all the stations, when we were in Bradford, or definitely on the Felixstowe line, Great Anglia, how ridiculous it was that there was a single car crowded 153 unit. Guess what we're on? We're on a single car crowded 153 unit. It's August, it's the holidays, there's so many people between uh, Norwich uh, and Great Yarmouth. This train is packed, it is packed, and it's what we always said, replace the single car units with longer trains. And that's what they've done. All right, also it's worth pointing out, it's really warm in there, so the little stuffy single car 153 is heaving with the people and every time it pulled away from the station the diesel fumes kicked in and it was uh, really rather hot on the flirts. They're all nicely air conditioned, but yeah, for me that may be the biggest thing right now. Uh, not the air con, uh, not the toilets, just, you know, not all the other things we've seen, but just the capacity. <laughs> We're going from a one car up to a four car train. That for me is the winning the winning thing. And the seats are good too, obviously. Ah, I've been chatting to Dave, my uh, friendly driver. Yeah, Dave, he's gonna give us a toot on his way out. We were discussing the fact that, um, yeah, Yarmouth, massive holiday destination. And the platform here, I never know, it's just really long. So look, this really long curving platform. They used to run 12, 13 car trains. And apparently he said there was at one time, like they still do, like they do to Skegness or uh, like Weymouth, you, could, you used to get direct trains from London all the way to Great Yarmouth. Not anymore. But they're bringing back the lowest off directs. Greater Anglia, how do you feel about bringing back some Great Yarmouth directs? Big, long trains again. It's 
just funny seeing this weird, tiny little train on a massively long platform. <laughs> okay. They're just very smooth and very quiet when you compare them to the trains that they're replacing. Uh, one other super important thing we have to do though, I just put my camera there to get the window in. This distance here, does it support the elbow? Yes, it does. <laughs> By the way, this is the accessible toilet, and it's literally, you go past, oh by the way, these flip down seats here, it's nice, because if you're standing against them, you could lean your butt on there, and that's still got the sort of maquette upholstery there, but then the standard toilet is just in here. It's smaller than the accessible toilet, as you'd expect, but it's nice having two toilets quite close to each other. I emerge from the toilets a little bit like stars in their eyes. They should have dry eyes as you come out of the toilets. And then I met the lovely, hang on, Linda. Is it your first time on the new unit? or? Yes, it is. Is it, does it by chance or did you plan it? Mm, no, I planned the journey, but I didn't realise it was the new one. Did you realise the new ones were running? Have you seen the posters? That, I knew that, they were, but okay. I, had, I wasn't convinced that at okay. Great Yarmouth we would get such a lovely new train. We haven't rehearsed it. So you said that without any prompting rehearsing. You yeah. said lovely new train. Yeah. Why, why are they lovely? Well, look, <laughs> look at this. I've got a, a walker. You've got your walker with you, so there's space. There's space. Okay, so you it like this. It's easy to get on the train. Okay. I didn't need any assistance. I okay. could get on on my own. And, and it's aircon, isn't it? Can you feel it? It's nice. It's on a warm day like today, it's nice. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. What else? Absolutely gorgeous. Linda, so that's the verdict from Linda. Yeah. <laughs> the lowest off 1405, platform 4, and direct service to Cambridge 1440, platform 3A. Some lady's taken her bike off the bike, by the way. There's a thing here. You pull down this handle, and then that clamps over onto the frame of your bike, that is very clever. And the last thing to talk about is that what I'm standing on now, right beneath my feet, is the little ramp that comes out. So there's, I don't think in some stations there's any need for uh, assistance on a yellow boarding ramp. That little ramp, as a flat, comes out and offers you really good, I think, step-free access. So that is your class 755, that's unit 418. They're coming to Greater Anglia. This one's in service. There was one doing uh, Cambridge this morning. Only more and more that will come over the next few weeks, next few months. If you want to come and ride in one, come up to Norwich, go to Lowestoft, go to Great Yarmouth, catch a ride on the new 755.